Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Leo. These are the general readings so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and in case you wanted to have a private reading for your personal and professional relationship, money, career finances, love and relationship you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below and I'll take you from there. Now let us go straight away to your reading. Let us see what are the energies. We have Cornucopia, dear Leo. This is one of the best cards in the energy. You have good money around your circle during this month. And let us see what angels have to say about the energies this month. Angel message please for dear Leo. Angel message please. You have be assertive, very, very nice. And let me also take your divine messages for this month from fairies. Divine message for Leo, please, for the month of June. Sorry. You have love life, very nice. So all the areas are getting covered in the month of June, my dear Leo people. Okay, let us begin with cornucopia. This means that this month... I'm getting sense that you are going to get a lot of prosperity, a lot of growth suddenly. It will be by luck. It will be by chance. And you are going to get something which you have not dreamt of, which you have not thought of. And it suddenly falls into your kitty. However, for few of you, it is also the repayment of your hard work your money which was due, your promotions which was due, your growth which was due and along with this the angels are saying that you have to be assertive you know and assertive means that you you have to you know say yes when you believe in something so your own thought process your own intuition is going to play a major role and you have to be assertive in all your areas. It's in your personal area, in your professional area. You, it is a general reading. So you have to see that where you need clarity, where you need to put yourself first, where you need to see your priorities first, whether it is some professional relationship, some personal relationship. It is clearly saying that whatever you believe in into, you have to say only yes for it. And rest, you have to be very clear and firm and, you know, in saying no if you don't believe for something or if you don't want to opt for something whether it's a personal or professional relationship and the fairies are also concentrating on your love life during this month and they say the basis of your questions involves your romantic life which is now changing for the better so this is a good news for people who are into relationship or who are single who are looking for a partner there is a major change coming in your love life and angels are with you in this journey very nice now let us go deep inside your each week reading. Looking into weeklies now with tarot. Weekly message please. Weekly message please. For the Leo people. Weekly message please for the Leo people. Weekly message, please, for dear Leo people. Okay. So in the first week, we have the High Priestess. And we were talking about being assertive. We were talking about you bringing yourself up. And even the High Priestess is talking about all that intuitions, all that psychic insights, all that thought process and feeling which is going in your mind, heart and soul. It says powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So it is very important that in the first week of June, dear Leo people, you put emphasis what you are feeling on your intuitions and on your feelings. I'm getting, you're getting a little light. Okay, and let us go deep into your tarot. Let us see what we have.
we have the star very nice we have the energy of ace of pentacles amazing and then we have king of pentacles my dear friends leo this could be the best month for you especially in financials because you are starting something with ace of pentacles with star along with ace of pentacle it seems that you are going to have a wish fulfillment and with king of pentacles it is very very clear that you are going to get the support from all the people around you this is such a beautiful card that you know you will be having lot of helpful people in your environment you will be having lot of people who are contributing to your professional growth to your prosperity to your money coming in with the help of that cornucopia and it is also very clear that you know with the help of this you are going to begin something new a new source of income or maybe a new job maybe a new promotion a new growth and you know you will find lot of people in your circle who are supporting your professional journey and you are going to get something of your dream maybe a dream job a dream project a dream client a dream, dream business or a, you know a some specific position which you were looking for since long so june is definitely going to give you a lifetime of achievement let us now see what do we have in the second week of may so clarifying with tarot let us now see you have king of gabriel and it says keep your eyes on the bigger picture leave the details of others experience that leads to success genuine concern for other yes so there is lot of king energy there is lot of team energy there is lot of a uh, lot that energy where in now in the month of june you will be working more with people in collaboration with people in team with people and which is going to be very very successful for you and let us see what do we have from tarot we have empress you have very strong very beautiful money cards prosperity cards and growth cards in this month dear leo people you have knight of pentacle then you have nine of swords so with empress this is very very clear that you are going to come into a very comfortable zone uh, of whatever you are planning and knight is certainly a moment a moment from now wherever you are in the professional journey it is going to have a moment it is just that you are getting a little anxiety full you are taking little stress you know you are bending down that there is too much of work around that there is too much of load around you so it is absolutely that you know you need to uh, really really think you really need to plan uh, have a detailed plan on your work and see how you can really manage everything you know keeping the anxiety and stress aside because you are having good time ahead and in the third week you again have lovers which is a major arcana card so now you have two major arcana cards even the high priestess was a major arcana card and the lovers which means that you are going to have lot of choices lot of options in your jobs in your business in your client and in the service you provide or even in the personal life if you are looking for options to explore you are definitely going to get more options and it says make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitment the power of love so you know it it clearly shows that whichever relationship you are starting dear leo whether it's a personal relationship or it's a professional relationship you have to see that where your heart lies only start something when you are really passionate about starting that thing and let us see what do we have in tarot with the clarification for lovers card so we have 8 of wands we have 5 of swords and we have ace of wands so you, you see there is lot of beginning you know out of 3 cards two cards are of wands which which always shows your energy your fire your passion to do something so all the energies are getting collected and they are moving towards one direction that direction is the direction for your favor and definitely there is something which you are starting out of passion it could be a new job or a relationship or a business as well while you also still have the energy of five of swords so that means there's something going on in your mind maybe stress maybe you know little negativity around with this nine of wands or five of swords you are thinking about certain things which are not you know uh, giving any resonation to you or which are not solving your purpose uh, more than more than the external uh, you know uh, harm i see that it is internal 
overthinking, over assumption, your own thought process of being into negativity, your own thought process of be, uh, you know, believing that you will sh fall short of something. So it is time to remove all that negativity and move forward. Very nice. Nice energies. Mm -hmm. And in the final week, you have Archangel Raphael with you and he says, a positive and new experience, emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationship, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So this is a very fulfilled, uh, you know, uh, reading, dear Leo, because you have a lot of cards which are related to your love life, to your relationship. And you also have a lot of cards wherein you are uh, looking into the professional growth, the uh, the financial growth the money growth the career growth so this is overall a very balanced reading this time and you know the last card is also talking about your emotional commitments you being passionate about things you being starting something new out of passion so you know love in your mind heart and soul is playing a major role in the month of june my dear leo people and let us see what cards do we have in clarification for this card So we have six of cups, we have strength card and we have nine of pentacles. Now with six of cups, I can see happy moments again. I can see also a reunion between you and your ex-partner or ex-lover. It is somebody who is coming from your past to make you happy in the present time. So for a lot of you, if you want, if you wish to go to your ex-employer, this is the card you're getting the good news or a message. This is the card wherein somebody from your ex-business circle is approaching you. And majorly, this is also a card that if you wish to reunion with your ex-partner or ex-lover, the, there is a huge possibility that they are going to come into your life. But simultaneously, the angels are saying that you need to maintain your patience and strength to let it happen. You know, a lot of patience, a lot of strength wherein you feel that, okay, things are happening in your favor. You need to have that faith in divine, keeping your patience and strength with yourself. And with nine of pentacles, again, a very good card that things are coming into your uh, control, whether it's your financials, whether if, if you are worrying, my guides are telling me if you are worrying for finances, rest assured that by this month, you're going to get financially very, very sound financially. All your needs are going to come true. Things are going to get into your control. If a, a relationship was going out of track, you know, uh, you both were not talking, there was no commitment, things are definitely going to come in control, even in that case as well. So overall, it's a very, very balanced, you know, month for you, dear Leo people. All the aspects are coming into picture with these cards. Let us now pull out some of your oracle messages. Pulling out oracle messages for dear Leo for the month of June. Messages for the earlier people. Messages for the earlier people. So we have rejuvenating rain, clear the past and heal the present. We were, we were just now talking about with this energy five of swords that, you know, just leave the past behind. Whatever is there in your mind, just leave that because, you know, it is, it is the future you can make. You cannot do anything of the past, but you can always make your present and future. And though we all have difficulties, obstacle challenges in our relationship in the past, whether it's personal relationship or professional relationship, it is how much we are, you know, taking off that in our mind, heart and soul and hampering our present and future. So this is very clear that you need to clear the past and heal the present. Very nice energy. Very nice message. Then we have wondrous universe, walk in the beauty, the beauty of present, what is happening with you and the present seems to be very promising for you, dear Leo. Ascending the mountains, keep going forward, do not, do not just hang on in the past or in the memories which are not making you happy or joyous. Just move on, keep on moving, very nice. Let me pull out from my favorite deck that is Moonology your messages for the month of june my dear leo people messages for june for dear leo people mm. 
messages for June. So we have show the world the real you. Yes, Leo, you have the internal strength, internal power the most. You know that. Show the, that to the real world. It's time to release negativity. This is an alarming card because every time we are talking about you leaving the past, you leaving the scars of the past, you leaving the bad memories or the memories which are not making you happy precisely, you know. It's very important to remain in the zone, in the stage, in the mindset of being joyous and happy. Very nice. A time to give rather than take. So just keep on giving in your circle so that you receive every help from people around. And before I end, I want to thank each and every one of you individually. My heart goes out to you people for liking my channel so much. I would request you to please subscribe it in case you like the work. Please put on your notifications so that you get an alert at the right time. And in case you need help, for your personal readings, for your, uh, you know, focused readings, recorded or live. These are the paid readings. You can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below. Thank you and be blessed.